Hello everybody and welcome on today's video. I had this uh, little group of five uh, larches last year as a present in this pot. It was in June and so now it's just uh, the last day of February and uh, well it was obvious that in this pot which is extremely uh, small long and and there's no not a whole lot of, of depth uh, it was obvious that this pot was not really suitable but i didn't repot the tree because well june you don't repot a large in june but i think that it is now time to do it and therefore i'm going to use this bigger pot and uh well yeah first thing will be to get these trees out i think it's it's going to be a little difficult because well the, the pot is going uh, inwards here so might be tricky to get them out well anyway let's just try and uh, we'll see what kind of roots we encounter so let's go okay larches well they're not really small they yeah. some are as thick as my finger but it's gonna be complicated to get them out I think they are planted in um, in Akedama no I think the top is Akedama it's just a layer of Akedama so it might be tricky oh well it's coming out rather well It's a strange spot, but I think this this might be nice to uh, to plant a, a raft in it. Something uh, long could be cool, but I'm not sure about the choice of this spot for a for a group. I got it from one of my kids at school. It's funny sometimes the kids they say, hey man, I saw you on, on YouTube and you were talking about trees in English. I didn't understand it, but... Okay, so I think it's coming out now. So here we have the pot. Yeah. I'll clean that up later. And let's have a look now. Drainage screens, no. There's some mycelium here. Uh, roots look healthy. Okay, so now I have to scrape away all the soil and try to separate these trees. And it's not going to be something that is perfect this year but if I get them to grow in a uh, wider pot I can already start working on the root spread which is good I'll try to to save some of this mycelium just little plucks of it and I will add that to the new soil so obviously the trees grew well because the roots are just round and round and round so it is already obvious that I will not be able to keep all the roots that I will have to do a selection yeah, so that's clear. Not going to use these ones, so way too long. 
So that's one. That's the second one. Just separating them now. So they were buried quite deep. And it's going to take some years before and some repots before we have a good root spread. That's the second and then we have two here. Okay, well that's good. So I'm going to clean up and then we'll see tree by tree what we can do. I will take every tree now and try to find a acceptable root base which might be a little complicated. Well if I can find some roots at the same height I will be happy. And I'm not going to do too much cutting. So you see this one is rather high, so I'll get rid of that. Maybe try to clean this up a little better. This root is really not that good. So maybe I'll just get rid of that one. And I think that's going to be it for this tree. Well, okay, so that's one. So it's quite clear that this root growing up will never be a good root. But when I see how this tree was spotted up, it would have been a, a miracle to have a good root spread. But yeah, it's going to be a slow process for this. So, the biggest roots, not bad. <laughs> tree number three. Again here, oh, that might be a complicated one. So maybe untangle the roots that they get a little bit of room and space. So yeah, oh man, we have a whole lot of high roots here. So the roots here are very high. And we have a, a good root spread here and a good root spread there. So I'm not going to cut any of these. I'll try to bury this and then let these grow so that the tree stays healthy. But probably in the future I will use the lowest part. This is, yeah. So here, well, that's quite clear. This root is turning round. 
but where does it come from and where does it go? Okay. Yeah. What is this? It's a root that grows up. That's when these trees are pressed into pots. Then of course you get roots that grow up instead of down. But hey, um, these are nice little larches. They're alive, they're healthy. So that's a good start for a nice little large group. Not a whole lot of root here. But again, I feel that at the bottom I have something starting. So I'll probably do the same. Just try to keep as much root as I can. And this is the last one. Okay. So here again, very high roots that even didn't make it. Shriveled. This is too high and I can live with the rest I think for the time being. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to have a look at the top parts of these trees. So there are obviously a few dead stumps that I should remove. And then I need to find a top. So this one does this very well, so it can become, become the top. So I'll cut back here. And I'll try to reduce the stump like that. And maybe I should do some trimming on the and some bud selection, but I can do that when I plant the tree. And I don't think that wiring will be a good idea. Okay, so here I removed that root, but now I'm looking for a top. Now this is yeah. I don't know, something like this could become a top. This is growing inward, so obviously this is never going to be used. This is dead. Now how can I use this? So this might be a side. This is very long. This is coming straight towards... I think that the top should be something here. So. That's way too much. And the rest I'll see when it's planted. So in the bucket it goes. Here this is easier. So this is obviously the top. Little dead stump. And this one's good to go. Same here. It's a big one. A whole lot of dead little stumps. A big stump here. Where the tree was probably cut to grow a new top. So this is going to be the front. This is a really nice tree. And the last one, also quite nice tree. Um, well, just removing this part. 
few dead stumps. Okay, little wound here that I might clean up just a little. It's easier to do these things when the trees are not planted. Now, this is supposed to be the front of that tree, but if you, if you look at the roots, that might be um, a little tricky. Well, anyway, we're going to plant this and try to spread the roots as nicely as we can. So let's do that. So if I compare the old pot and the new that I want to use, it's quite clear that this will be a much easier thing. So let's get some substrate. So this is quite big stuff, which is perfect for drainage. So this goes on the drainage screens. And I'm going to finish this with a smaller size. My soil is a little wet. But for larches that's quite okay because they really like moisture. Okay, so I think that's enough. And now I'll try to find the biggest tree to start with. And that's this one. So, if we look at the top of the tree, we have the wound in the back. So let's take that as a front. I'm not going to put it right in the center don't think that I'm going to make a great forest with these trees today, but I'll try to do as well as I can. So it's going to be a question of opening up the roots that I have. One thing that I will not be able to do today is well, taking all the spaces between the, the trees in consideration. If I can, I will, but I don't think that this will be my, my goal. A good root spread and a healthy tree. That's what I need today. So, first things first. So, I'm going to add some soil on this. And I'm already very happy that it doesn't fall over. So, a little more soil. And now I'm trying to lift the tree just a little. And here I'm going to work the soil in so that I get a nice flare for the roots. Just lift it one or two no, one centimeter, not two, two is too much. And work it in round, uh, under the, the trunk. And then you will get this nice curve where the roots enter the soil. So I'll finish this one. The next tree is this one. So I have a nice branching here, a bigger branch there, a whole lot in the back, but these the roots are going to be a problem. Well, okay, I'm going to try to open it anyway. Still, yeah, well, there are some small roots here, so 
that's not bad at all because small roots get bigger and there are even big roots but it's going to be a question of <laughs> positioning this now this tree should come to this side hmm. it's not gonna work cannot open the roots so well I'm a little reluctant to put him here but like I said for the sake of the the trees and their health one must make compromises so I prefer to have a good root spread now so that when I repot this tree next time I can rearrange it all but then I get to choose how Okay, and if you think the same as I do, you are probably wondering where I'm going to put the other ones now. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm thinking exactly the same, but I'll find a way. So, lifting it up a little and working the soil in. Number three, doesn't have a whole lot of roots. Um, but I'm going to try to open them up so this should come something well okay I'll put it in the back and now it's starting to get really tricky because the branches are going to cross and entangle and then everything falls down And this should be the front. If I look at the top, okay, so again trying to open this roots. That's always a problem when you get commercial bonsai. No one seems to care about the roots, and that's the first thing that I care about. I think it is so important to have a good root spread, because that's what gives the tree the maturity in the, in the coming years. Yeah. Okay, this is going to fall. Oh boy. Yeah kind of stays I'm not going to use too much soil here because I need some more room to put the two other trees so I have a small one here which of course is a little easier to position and the roots are not too bad on that one I think it should come here but that's not gonna be possible mm. Obviously, I have two tops here, so I'm, I'll have to choose a top. This might be a top, but then I don't need that. So if this is a top, this is my front for the roots, which is not so good. Or I can take this as a top, and I'm there. Nah which is even worse because I don't have branches so I think this might become the best front in the future and then I don't need this portion okay so this is the top okay so I'll put this one here Wait a minute, I'm going to the other side of the camera. So 
So this one comes here. And I'll try to keep as much root as I can. Just opening it up. Now it's obvious that we have too much soil here, but it's okay. I can work this in and then we have the last one. Quite some space here. This is a nice top, so I'm going to put that one over here. And I'll be back when everything is potted up nicely now. The trees are potted up now and I'm, well, not... It's not bad, I think. Um, I might just do a light trim now, just to uh, organize this whole thing. Because, well, this is the thickest tree, so it is supposed to become the longest one. So I'm not going to do anything about this one, so that it can grow. Here I'm going to do some light trimming on the sides because I think that these trees are not badly positioned um, here just going to reduce this part and maybe take this as a new top which I can wire um, going to reduce this and this and this and here in the back this tree looks okay there's not a whole lot going on there but just a few buds and it's a little too high because this is supposed to be the the leader so probably i'll cut it off just i don't know here so this might become leader which is a little lower so same here and probably I'll do some more selection of branches but not going to be too wild to this year so I also have a few pieces of uh, sandstone that I'd like to add because well I like these sandstones and they'll give the trees some stability so here one, I got a nice one with some moss here. Maybe a little one right here. I don't know why I always add sandstones, but I think that it gives some, well, some depth. Big one here. And then maybe a, just a small one here in the front. Like so. And then a few pieces of moss to add some color. Not too much. And a little piece maybe just here. Okay, so that's what it is now. Maybe I'll come a little closer if I can. So that's for the traditional 360. So five little larches in a dark brown unglazed pot. And that's it. Well, I think this looks quite okay. Uh, this tree needs a good watering now, of course, and uh, then it's up for the growing season. So, thank you for watching and see you next time.